Good morning, everyone. Uh, now, uh, we are going to discuss something about the uh, hot topic of this digital era, right? So now, here we are going to see how this AI is going to get applied in um, policing side. So in, th in terms of policing, so what is uh, policing? So we know that um, some investigations are happening after each and every uh, criminal activity that, is, uh, that has happened uh, throughout. So how that is going to be assisted with the help of AI? So that is a part that we are going to see. And uh, here we have, um, so we need to go with the safer society with respect to um, proactive policing. So why do we need to have a word of proactive policing is something like uh, um, reactive is a part we always have encountered with. So after some criminal activities has happened, uh, we go with uh, many, many sort of investigations and after that, Finding out the criminal and punishing him is not going to be of the safer society. Maybe the next such event may not happen um, in the near future or so. But then it is definitely going to happen or so after some days because we always forget the punishments soon after uh, the effect of the punishment goes over. So uh, that is the reality. So to overcome that drawback, we, come up, we have come up with uh, some uh, terminology known as proactive policing. So proactive and predictive policing. So we need to go with uh, um, analysis that needs to happen in the CCTV footage while the event is happening itself, the analysis has to happen. So um, uh, we know, we are, we have come across um, uh, all these years, we have come across certain type of events that has happened and uh, all those events had some series of activities that had led to that event. So such activities, if it is being encountered in any of um, the um, CCTV uh, footage, if, it, if the camera is able to analyze that, then definitely um, it has to be notified to the police department and accordingly the actions have to be taken. Uh, so this is what is it to be as proactive, predictive policing. Okay, so we are going to see about that today. So, uh, can anyone tell what are all these images all about? The first one, what is the first image? Radha Krishna. But is that the original Radha Krishna image uh, that we have uh, seen as a deity or so in our temples? No. It is something different, right? And uh, the next one is a Mahatma Gandhiji. We have seen his image many number of times, but then there is a speciality in this image. We will see what is a speciality. And who are the, those two kids? Virat Kohli. And? The next one? Virat Kohli and? No, no. So no best cricketer in this side? Rohit Sharma, no. MS Dhoni. Yes, Dhoni. Yes. Virat Kohli and MS Dhoni are uh, the people and these are all AI generated images. Okay. So this is the power of AI that we have as of now. The AI is able to generate any image based upon the data that you give. It learns the features and it is able to give its own creativity into it and it is able to give it. So, um, what do you understand from this? It is able to create a new image that is not at all available like uh, Radha Krishna image. And the next one, um, Mahatma Gandhiji uh, and the very younger age of Virat Kohli and Dhoni, which we haven't seen uh, very frequently in any of the social media or so. So this is the way in which it is able to do. So the real, uh, the, uh, we have seen the very old age of uh, Mahatma Gandhiji photo, G, uh, fo photo many times. And it is going to, it is able to create similar such photo. It is able to do that. Okay, and in uh, think about the same thing in case of in the in the perspective of policing. So, how can it be done? 
it can create a new um, uh, environment even not only the images uh, of uh, deities or so it can create a new environment even so imagine that some uh, criminal activity happens here okay after we all leave this place the police wants to investigate so it can create a, uh, a similar such scenario here so uh, which is not at all existing it is able to create that is the first one and the second one it is able to create similar such uh, for example say me uh, say like uh, valli devi is uh, doing or getting involved in any uh, any of the activity so it is able to create similar such image of mine okay and uh, say uh, if they want to know how uh, an younger age person would have been because same such character has got involved 20 years back in some activity if such a report is being notified uh, to them through someone else then they need to analyze how the person would have been so all such things are very well possible so for all these uh, people were doing all these without generative ai being existing as well how did they do they were using artist in this place they were generally uh, they were equipping or uh, entertaining the artist to draw the images and to come up with uh, um, uh, some uh, uh, creative way of uh, describing the scenario or so and they did it but then um, it was taking so long time to for them to do that to overcome that for the for a mission it will take only if we train it and if we uh, do do the programming in a best way it will be definitely helpful for the police department to sort out the criminal activity in a more better and best way and as i said in a more uh, pro uh, proactive and predictive way okay so these are all the um, so these uh, images are all ai generated images what are all these images who are all these people all south indian actors you do not know <laughs> but these these are all the famous personalities only ram charan danush allu arjun junior ntr and surya so all these are ai generated images only okay so if if suddenly there is a film that has to be released listen please cooperate so if there is a new um, uh, a film that has to be released and they want some um, uh, some way of depicting that particular uh, actor or so they need not have um, uh, um, uh, that that much of body structure uh, because the the actor or also the actor is also a human being he may not be getting the body structure as such uh, how the production engineer or so or the uh, production manager how uh, however he expects it may not be possible for them to uh, go in one stretch so they make use of ai generated images and uh, they release some post and getting motivated with such post the actors also tune their body and they come up with so this is the way in which it is being done who are these people of course you will be able to definitely identify first one first doni very good at least now you identified the younger age of doni you were not able to identify the uh, elderly age you are able to identify okay then then rohit sharma okay so uh, so this is the way he will be so what all what ai can do generative ai what can it do it can create ima ima imaginary images it can create images of different ages it can generate text and as well as it can generate audios too so these are all the ways in which generative ai can work on so we haven't seen examples for generating text and generating audios as well right so how do you, how does it generate text have you ever come across generating text with ai yes yes no i saw many assignments with that 
in your university also i saw in few, few of the faculty members table with such uh, generative ai assignments generative ai uh, uh, generated text assignments not based on gen uh, that is based on generative ai some assignments have got uh, generated and they were submitted with your name i saw that okay so ma'am was telling very cleanly that generative ai text can be very well identified using plagiarism checker yes very well that is possible teachers are even doing that but students have become much more wiser you know they are using another tool to overcome that what tool could they use what tool you do not know okay try to make some combination of tools like uh, rephrasing true try try to rephrase with another tool so that it gets rephrased decently and it is not going to be no more generative ai tool generative ai content okay so then it is not going to be predicted by any plagiarism checker as the generative ai content also okay so people have started uh, combining two technologies together and they are producing new results so that is a massive power of uh, ai and uh, we need to appreciate that as well and also a very if you haven't used chat gpt also there is no problem there are um, a help that is coming up in our mail servers do you uh, have you encountered that if you keep typing some words the rest of the content gets automatically generated and it comes so that is generative ai it generates that and uh, it is going to give us the result right so it is able to predict the next word what it could be we saw rohit sharma we saw uh, dhoni all these younger age older age everything we saw <coughs> so that is with respect to images and now it is with respect to text we are seeing even voice also could be generated <coughs> okay so if you give there are uh, many generative ai tools with which you will be able to um, uh, create the description if you give uh, suppose if you want to give a description about marwadi university then what you can do give is these are all the uh, features of marwadi university and that too with respect to mca department what are all the courses that you run and other stuff so if you type and give then and also you can choose the scenes how it should be either it could be the ai generated scenes also could be chosen or you can push your own uh, images as well okay so combining all these um, the generative ai is able to speak with its own generated text and it is able to create its own video as well <coughs> that is very well possible with respect to generative ai okay so these are all the stuffs that i uh, i wish to know so we will see generative ai with respect to some analogy so um have you ever told any lie have you ever told any lie you all belong to harichandran's family or uh, his neighbor's family <laughs> neighbor's family yes everyone almost everyone belongs to our uh, his neighbor's family only so i i believe that we all know mathematics by our own we are born with some mathematical skills of statistical see here it tells very clearly one second so um generative ai it is able to uh, train it, uh, it it is able to uh, adjust uh, by so uh, as i said already we all know to uh, to tell some like okay so generate generative ai based uh, models are all having two different uh, parts ma mainly one is the first one is the generative model and the other one is the descriptive model discriminative model generative model discriminative model so generative model it is going to give uh, you some series of um, data okay it is able to generate some series of data and the discriminative model it is able to tell whether those uh, data that is being created are all very closer to that of the um, uh, real one or it is fake 
it is able to identify that and tell. So that is what the discriminative model does. So this is the crux of it. So whenever you tell a lie, okay, basically we tell a lie to our mother first of all. So that is a place where we start telling lies. So uh, what we do, we tell a lie as a kid, the kid tells a lie and um, he is able to learn uh, very quickly when the mother is able to identify that it is a lie she punishes and then what uh, the mother does uh, she punishes and she warns him and then next day he tells another lie in a very beautiful manner that the mother does not identify so in such a way he is going to tell another lie so what uh, what does it mean he is able to learn from his previous experience that the uh, that his mother will be able to identify that it is an it is a lie okay so Basically, the kid who tells a lie is a generative uh, model and the mother who identifies that it is a lie and it is not closer to the reality is said to be as a discriminative model. Okay, so we all know how to adjust and how to um, uh, learn from our previous experience and how to generate new, new um, stories to make it more closer to that of the real. Okay, so this is what is the basic of generative AI. That's all. So, um, as I told, this is the one generative model and the discriminative model. So, um, basically, the learning happens every day when we start telling the lies. So, this is the part. And uh, let us assume that the generative model uh, captures the join probability P of X comma Y. So this is the only state I, where I'm going to use P of and all. So don't worry that she's, also, she's going to uh, give so much of mathematics and uh, she's going to bore us. The session will be lively as you started laughing in the beginning. Okay. So um, then the first, the, the very important part that you have to understand here is uh, capture the join probability P of X comma Y or just p of x. So if I say p of x comma y, then with respect to the kid telling the lie, um, we say that x is the uh, kid, uh, the lie that is being said by the kid. So that is x. And y is the reality part. It is um, it, it is not going to be true now. So this, this is the y. Okay. So um, and if I say P of X comma Y, it is a joint probability that considers both the child presents, what the child presents and what the reality is. So it is a probability of both uh, whether the uh, child has presented the truth or the child has presented some other false. So th this is the joint probability. So a generative mo uh, model, it includes the distribution of data itself and it tells how likely a given example is. Okay, so for example, if you say that um, our mail server is able to predict the next word that it is uh, that it is able to that that would come in uh, from from our uh, type the content, then it is said to be as the prediction that is going to happen. It is it is able to generate the next word and tell and assist for us. So this is the part sequence of words. It is able to get the probability and it is able to give for us. So this is the part that we have to understand. So discriminative model. So discriminative model is all about our mom identifying that lie. So I am telling all these in a very lower sense of um, the kid telling the lie and the mom identifying. So in the case of predictive policing, uh, policing comes from our home only. And uh, in, in a very realistic case, it could be like a, um, uh, the court case or uh, like a, a police department investigation that is going to happen. So here comes P of Y given X. So Y is the statement that was said by the stu uh, student. Or, or the kid, right? And um, it, it uh, it's all about analyzing the presented content uh, to make the judgment about the truth. Okay, so this conditional probability it specifically focuses on the truth based on what the child has presented. <laughs> okay, so what is the truth? She identifies that based on uh, the child what he has presented. So can anyone tell which is the generative AI part and which is the or which is the generative model and which is the discriminative model in this? There are two figures in this, right? One is the generative model and the other one is the discriminative model.
very silent so i need i need to investigate you all now <laughs> what is that <laughs> which is the generative model here second one is the generative model why p of see here uh, very good for uh, what is your name ratul okay so give a claps to ratul because he has said correctly that the second picture uh, picture is the generative model and the first one is the discriminative model so why the second picture is the uh, uh, generative model is see um, the child is trying to put a zero and the real zero is something given at the bottom so handwritten content we are uh, describing here so handwritten real is given at the bottom so let us say that um, the real is the this is a real part this is a real part and uh, here it is the real he is trying to come up with uh, the content which is more closer to the reality so he is trying to come up with a story which is more closer to the real uh, incident that has happened but it is a story anyhow so that is the generative model and the next one is uh, identifying uh, both the incidents if it is uh, known both the incidents the mother knows both the incidents here okay so what has happened what the child is telling so both the mother knows so what she does she checks for which is uh, which is the truth and she identifies that uh, whatever is the truth she identifies so here she says that uh, yes uh, the content that is being said by the kid is true because he has almost come to the closer reality only here in this according to this picture it is very much closer to the reality so she identifies that yes it is y is equal to 0 and x is equal to 1 she accepts that whatever has happened is happened okay she accepts that the child whatever he has said is the truth only okay so this is the discriminative part that we are dealing up here okay so um, the very first uh, data that is generated is the generative ai it tells 10 but the real data is all about having the real 10 rupee no, uh, dollar or so 10 10 dollars part that is displayed here so it is a fake and the real one so next after some training the system understands how it has to create there is a face that is there in the right side so um, based on that it has to create the fake also similar to that so it uh, generates tries to generate a face like the kid telling the lie and uh, over a period of um, so many iterations of uh, learning that has happened the system is able to create very closer image of that particular um uh, the real one and uh, the fake is almost equivalent to the real here okay the system uh, clearly now it is telling that it is real only and it is not the fake so the the discriminative model is now able to have zero errors now initially the discriminative model was having huge volume of error and based on that error the back, back propagation has happened and back propagation is going to tell the inputs to the generative model that uh, this is not the way uh, you have to generate new images so this much of error it has got so based on that back propagation uh, model uh, input it started generating new new uh, versions and finally it was very much closer to that of the real one and uh, the system also tries to say that it is real only so this is what is happening so we used to have a statement like uh, so many times if you keep telling a lie once uh, sometime it may become a truth as well right <laughs> so uh, so we start making people to believe that it is a truth it is a truth and uh, so on and uh, we uh, we finally make it uh, true as well so that is what so that is what is uh, driving us as well so we always say that we are the best we are we need to say like that we are the best we are the best so our mind also will get tuned that yes you are the best and you will be able to do and finally you will be able to do it as well so that is the way with which we are cheating ourselves okay so as i said earlier the real image is here so the real image um 
the re real images are here and uh, the real, real image crea uh, is being sent to um, the, uh, the real image and the generated image both are sent to the discriminator the discriminator is now able to find out the error in it okay how much of error it has encountered with the discriminator is able to find out the error and uh, discriminator loss and the generator loss both are being identified and uh, at some point the uh, the discriminator loss should become zero so till that the training will happen so this is the way it is going to be uh, see here the real image is there given to the discriminator and the generated image is there the generated image uh, sample is also given to the discriminator so both are being compared and the discriminator error is being found out and that error is again back propagated and given to the generator model gan is a generated mo generator model model okay gan is generative adversarial network so gan is a very famous generative generative ai model that is there available and uh, the real image and the generated image both are going to be closer at some point and uh, um, based on that we we get tuned so to test your understanding what is the model that is happening here is it the generative model or the discriminative model that's a, that's my question here just quickly go through this and tell me whether it is a generative model or dis discriminative model. Discriminative? So till now whatever I have taught is going to be a waste. Is that so? How is it discriminative? You try different values of W until the result of you are um, uh, produced uh, uh, your result of your procedure equals the average of the real IQ scores. So the discriminative model just tells whether the given scenario is very much closer to the um, um, real one or not. That's all. So here the training is happening again and again to the generative model only the training is happening and it is trying to produce new results which is very much closer so it is a generative model understood am i clear here yes shall i proceed with the next slide yes the discriminative model just tells that it compares both and it is going to accept that whether the given said statement is true or false that's all okay so it is not going to tell anything with respect to or guide anything with respect to uh, see, uh, to narrate a story, you, ha you should have told like that, you should have said like this. Is this the way your mom is going to treat you? Definitely not. Right? She will blast you, that's all. Right? So, uh, what, what is your brain going to do now? Yes, she, she caught me now. So, next time when I am telling, I am going to do like this or I am going to tell like this. Your brain is going to get tuned. So, that is a generative model brain. Okay, you have generated that story. So, you are the next, you know the next version how you have to create. So, this is the new uh, uh, yet to be published paper that is there available in archive. So, what is this? It's a very interesting story where uh, till this time, ChatGPT did not have any provision about giving input with respect to any image. Image cannot be given as an input or image cannot be got as an output with respect to ChatGPT. You all know that. So, how to overcome that? Um, uh, chat GP, uh, GPT-4 has come, which has the capability of images as well, dealing with the images as well. So, now uh, what they have done here, chat, uh, chat GPT questionnaire is there available for the given image. What is the image that is shown here? It is a four kittens that are there in a basket. And what is the size of the basket? It is, uh, uh, it is a circular basket. Uh, uh, what is being said? round round basket wicker uh, texture is there and uh, small um, uh, uh, all the kittens are very small what is the color of the kitten it is black and white so if you give the image as an input the gpt is now able to tell you uh, or if you start raising the questions the so chat chat gpt is now able to raise questions technology that is there available that blip2 is able to answer the questions based on the questions that were raised by chat gpt 
Okay, so all the questions were raised by the chat GPT. Describe the image in detail. So a yeah, basket with kittens in it. So that is a description that the blip, blip 2 has given. And what is the color of the basket? Brown. So blip 2 has given the answer as brown. And uh, what is the texture of the basket? Chat GPT has raised this question and uh, wicker is the answer that the blip 2 has given. So finally, uh, people have made this chat GPT to captionize the image. Captionizing the image. So based on both the question and the answers, the chat GPT is able to understand the entire scenario and it is very beautifully coming, uh, coming up with the captioner as the image depicts a round wicker basket with the four small black and white kittens. So very beautifully it has consolidated all the data that the blip2 has answered for it. So this is the power of uh, uh, generative AI that we have as of now. Okay, so given one image, it is able to analyze everything and it is able to give for us. Okay, so imagine to see if you give any, uh, uh, any description and if you want how this description will come out as an image, the system is able to give the image now. So that is what is imagine to see. Imagine to create. If you want any new fashion technology people, if you are here, you can even assist the fashion technology people by the generative AI part. Okay, so in none of the worlds, you, you can say that generative AI cannot step into it. It can step into any world, even to the fashion technology world, it is possible. So that's the reason I have given this. So uh, imagine to create, imagine to drive. People are coming up with so many flyovers, so many different ways of handling the city traffic, right? So many administrative people are dealing with that. How they are dealing? They are able to come up with some uh, image that is being created by generative AI. So hereafter, this is how the, they are going to deal with. So uh, in those days, in South India, we had a very great person named as Kamarajar and uh, he used to do every such stuff without even having a basic uh, educational knowledge. He did such a tremendous work. But now uh, many of the engineers are getting produced every year, but we are not able to handle this heavy traffic. Maybe at least uh, with uh, having all these new technologies into our hands, we will definitely be able to handle and we will be able to shape the future is uh, the word that I want to press here. And uh, even we can even say that Im uh, imagine to feel, suppose if you want to feel like, uh, uh, if, if suppose my house has such and uh, such, and such scenario uh, of uh, scenery like this, how it will be. If you want to feel, you can have a, have a word with the generative AI and you can have a scenario being described there. So GPT-4 plus Be My Eyes. Be My Eyes is a mobile app that was gen uh, developed and GPT-4 plus Be My Eyes is going to give uh, a very great, uh, um, uh, 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 it is a blessing for the visually impaired people. So how is it helpful? So if he is a visually impaired, he can just take a clip of whatever is nearby to him and the generative AI is able to give in uh, audio how it will be or uh, what is there in front of him. So with that, he is being assisted. And if you have an idea of uh, coming up with a website, so next year, your uh, conference, the same conference website could be definitely created with generative AI of ch uh, with this assistance as well. So your dean or your uh, provisi or so will be able to just give a note of how it should be and what are all the fields or what are all the menus that it should have. And based on that, uh, with uh, you people uh, getting involved in that generative AI will be able to come up with uh, um, CSS, H HTML, CSS and JavaScript being incorporated all together in, in a click or so it will uh, quickly assist you with a definitely with a working template it will assist you and after that you can add uh, values to that definitely. So this is also very well possible so try for your next year conference. And why this image is funny? This question was asked to GPT-4 and it, it gave a very, very uh, beautiful answer and it is there available in their um, website as well, GPT-4's website. So can anyone say why this is funny? 
it's a squirrel right we all have seen a squirrel picture which with a nut that to a, with a ground net have you seen such picture now this is having a camera where it is take a, trying to take a photograph rather than a nut so this is the answer that was given by the uh, gpt4 the image is funny because it is a squirrel holding a camera and taking a photo of a nut so uh, at the bottom there is a nut as well available so instead of it holding a nut it is now taking the photograph of a nut which is uh, much more uh, imaginative and also it is funny as well so we ourselves take some time to tell what what answer we could tell but the chat gpt or gpt4 okay gpt4 is the one that is going to be embedded with chat, chat gpt and we are going to get a newer version of chat gpt okay so this gpt4 is able to come up with a very beautiful answer and even it can even pass so much of complicated uh, competitive exams which we are ourselves uh, feeling it difficult to pass that that capability also gpt4 has come up with and uh, it can work with so many languages as well still now tamil language is not so greatly implemented but then telugu and uh, urdu languages are all there it seems so they haven't released gpt4 for free of use it is of uh, payment basis uh, they are trying to release it quickly so we will definitely have all its flavor soon so what is this where is it if it, if such a question is asked if you post a picture and if you ask where is it it will definitely tell okay in terms of policing if uh, if it is being asked where is this uh, where this particular place is definitely it will be able to tell how um, uh, and uh, the police department will be able to quickly jump into that place and they will be able to catch over his him okay so in terms of vision it is going to have uh visual question answering as i showed you where is the place it is able to tell and optical character recognition so if you give some uh, a picture of um uh, what is meant by optical character recognition instead of you uh, typing every notes in the system okay suppose if you type uh, or write ev everything and give it to the system it will be able to convert that into text and give you the typed content so this that is what is uh, it is able to recognize optical character recognition it is able to recognize everything whatever is there available as a printed one or as a scanned one and uh, math ocr math ocr is something uh, amazing suppose uh, if i give a statement to uh, gpt and ask i bought uh, five apples and i bought four oranges and two were spoiled uh, two among the apples got spoiled so i went and returned uh, if i keep telling such story and i ask how many to uh, total number of apples i bought and how many total number of uh, bananas i bought and uh, oranges i bought it will clearly say you did not get bananas first of all okay and then it will also say uh, by returning the oranges which got spoiled you got uh, this much final number of oranges so this is the statement that it is going to tell so reading a captcha so instead of we saying that i am not a machine okay uh, it will read the captcha and it will uh, type everything and in future things also could change in that way as well so we need to come up with new new stuffs of uh, handling cyber security part 2 so uh, uh crosswords and uh, crosswords and also uh, you can go with the sudoku being solved with respect to um, with the help of gpt that is also possible and large language models so lar there is a clean difference between large language models and large vision models so these are all the jargons that are there coming up as well so large language models are being trained so you know that Uh, i told very clearly chat gpt is there helping us so this morning i asked a question to the chat gpt how i could give a um, example for the my students uh, for the generative model and for the discriminative model and uh, with respect to telling lies so it clearly gave me the description of which is y and which is x and other stuffs and uh, with that only i came up with this presentation too so this is what the uh th this is how the llm is being trained llm is large language model so llm is trained with that okay so for the llm to get trained 
huge volumes of data documents are there available in our internet and with those documents it got trained it is of available free of cost in our internet itself but then if you want to train lvm large vision models is that possible lvm is it possible if you want to make it understand uh, a squirrel should be holding only a nut and not the camera and and it should not be trying to capture the uh, nut uh, image with the camera it should be trained more with the squirrel images more with many other uh, similar such images okay what are all the characteristics of squirrel and uh, what it does and everything it has to be trained with uh, similar such data <coughs> rather than going with rather than going with uh, many many types of images that are there available in our instagram pages instagram pages does it have only the squirrel image definitely not it has so many images if you keep training with so many images then it gets confused if i ask then with uh, with only the instagram page images if i train it and uh, if i ask it what is the funny part of the image it will give another funny answer only okay it is not going to give the true answer so uh, what should we do the business applications are very much specific for some domain okay so that is the crux that we need to understand if we want to come up with the lvm large vision model definitely we need to go with uh, definitely we need to go with this <coughs> internet images have variety of uh, images and that is not going to lead to the discriminative model being said more correctly it is again and again throw many errors only if it is going to generate uh, such images or so it is not going to be correct one so we need to train with uh, the specific domain specific business model images and later on with those images only we can go with the uh, better results being uh, generated okay so um, we need to know more about how to go with the prompt engineering if we say prompt engineering what is meant by prompt engineering coming time on prompt to the place that is not prompt the word that we specify here uh asking a very correct question where the gpt will be able to understand and get the results for us so that is the part that we need to understand so here with uh, before gpt what happened the developer was developing the code for 2 hours and uh, uh, chat gpt he he developed in 5 minutes hopefully you all would have done that as well okay and developer debugging the code was happening before chat gpt it was only 6 hours now uh, he is not able to understand even 24 hours he is struggling because it has come up with a very high fi way of coding where that could be solved even with a very less uh, intense uh, content in it okay so he is not able to understand and he is not able to debug that as well so this is this is the way the prompt uh, engineering is very much specific about so uh, the uh, few with uh, very two three slides i am going to close it so here you have uh, a gen a generic lvm so generic lvm is large vision model if it is going to be the generic lvm if it is a pathology image also that is going to be given as an input so how it is going to analyze and give for us so the second slide second image is the one which is where it is being trained with a generic large vision model okay where we trained with uh, full of instagram images it did not give proper uh, results for it but uh, the domain specific lvm was able to give a better output so this is a part that we need to understand here also the same such stuff <coughs> domain specific is able to give a better uh, uh, real part that is there it is able to give the more insights about it so these are all the stuffs that you have to understand in it and uh, here this is the Uh, circuit design hopefully it is uh, visible if it is not i'm sorry uh, it is a circuit design it is there available so the um, the bottom most line is not at all visible in the generic lvm but uh, here the bottom line is uh, here visible so this is the power of uh, uh, domain specific lvm we have to understand that uh, any image if it is being domain specifically trained then it produces more results so this is the graph which shows you that it is going to give less errors and also it is going to be uh, with very less number of images itself we will be able to train it if it is more domain specific images that is being used for training okay we need not go with uh, uh, millions and billions of images to be uh, to be used for training so that's a part we need to understand 
So this is the use case that we came up with for um, proactive policing part. So the use case is something like uh, um, being the uh, pandemic period, there were more malfunctions that were mal malpractices that were happening. So how was it solved? People were, uh, all the police department people were uh, um, extremely, they were um, working, but they were not able to find out the criminal. So uh, they were struggling a lot. So to overcome that, they did some, they came up with uh, some request of coming up with a prototype for me. Uh, with me, they came up with a request. So we, we did something like uh, many images of the human faces are there available in um, uh, even um, uh, all, uh, um, all, all the databases have such human face images. So with the, those human face images, we applied mask for the images and we created masked images first because there, was, there weren't any masked images available in the data set. Okay. <coughs> so with those masked images, we tr started training the system and um, masked image and it's similar unmasked image is also there available now. So with, the, with these two pair, with a pair of these images, we started training the system. So for this unmasked face, this is a masked face. So this is how it will be. So we started training the system and we came up with, uh, uh, or the system started understanding that this is how um, uh, a person will be if he is going to be unmasked. So it started understanding. And with that, when we gave the criminal or the suspect's face with the mask, it was able to generate images. Um, and uh, instead of uh, we generating only one output for it, yes, uh, instead of we generating only one output for it, we started generating multiple outputs, like uh, he uh, uh, being shown in different emotions as well. Okay, so with different emotions, so this is the way with which we generated the output. So this is my student who worked along with me for this particular project. And um, um, uh, for, for his unmasked face, we masked him and we came up with uh, different emotions of, uh, of him being generated as an output. Uh, so the right side part are all the generated images. And with those generated images also, we started analyzing which one is the very closest match. Okay, so maybe not all are closest match. So, and uh, he is my role model for him as well. So, who is he? He is Shivnadar for him as well. Um, we tested because this was started in, uh, in the uh, SSN college. This work started in SSN college when I was there, and uh, we even tested with him and got the best results. So, we were we were very much proud at that time to showcase this to him. So these are all the different uh, emotional images, um, emotion-based images. So of course, <laughs> so uh, being at Gujarat, I cannot avoid this slide, I guess. So uh, that's the reason I thought I can just have this as well. Okay, and uh, so Modi ji, we got this as well. And uh, input image, generated output, and the ground truth that we had. So all these we were able to compare and we were able to get the result. So. The final application that we submitted or the final uh, deployed uh, application that we gave for the police department had all these four features. We applied mask for the unmasked image. We were able to remove the mask and we were able to find out the similarity between the given image and the, uh, and the generated image or the generated image and the original image as well. The similarity checker was there. And also in a given uh, group photo or so, whether the person is there available or not. With the similarity check, we were able to find out whether the person is there available or not. So these are all the functionalities we did. And uh, <laughs> yes, sir. So number plate recognition also, we did it and uh, we, um, uh, we, uh, we assisted uh, the police department in the ATM theft case that happened uh, in, in a single day, ATM theft case happened um, in the Thiruvannamalai district. Single day, four ATMs were stolen and all the ATMs were blombosted. Okay, blomblast were happening in all the ATMs and there were no evidence 
to find out or there were no fingerprints to find out who the uh, criminal is. So to overcome all those drawbacks, they came up with the CCTV footage that was there in the nearby building, bank building, and uh, uh, they came up with a very distorted CCTV footage uh, and they gave me and asked me to find out whether uh, it will be possible to find out that uh, number plate. And um, we came up with uh, some series of uh, results. So this could be the possible, maximum possible um, uh, possibilities of uh, coming up uh, with the uh, number plate analysis. That's what I said. And one among this was the perfect match with the uh, criminals one. And you may be very much surprised to see the last four digits should be there. Instead, there are three digits only. So you, you are all right. So here you have um, a blank uh, part that is there available now. Uh, it is very much blank and I wasn't able to predict anything out of it. The system was not able to predict anything out of that. But then, um, what could be the numbers? There will be very uh, few possibilities of uh, 0 to 9 could be the numbers in that, uh, in that particular digit alone. So, they were able to find out um, with very less possibilities or with very less probabilities, they were able to find out. And they appreciated me with uh, a certificate uh, being awarded uh, from the SP end as well for this. Thank you. And uh, this is the thank you slide where I thought I can come up with, uh, I did not embed the audio in this. <laughs> thank you. Both images and uh, text I have embedded here together. Thank you.